All right, so listen to this. According to the most recent 2018 federal farm census, which I know you read from cover to cover, mm -hmm. there's about 946,000 acres of farmland across Arizona, and all those farms are using about 4.4 million acre feet of water. So here's the question. What if farmers could use 50% less water than they are now without sacrificing crops? That's exactly the technology being tested out as we speak. Yeah, Team 12's Trisha Hendricks, she joins us live from Central Arizona Project in Phoenix to explain. All right, Trisha, what's going on over there? Good morning, guys. Yeah, there's a new kind of irrigation technology that's being tested out on farms right now all across Arizona. Okay, so check it out. It's a gravity-fed irrigation system manufactured by an Israeli company called Indrip. The senior planning analyst for the Colorado River Programs Group of Central Arizona Project tells us the system doesn't require power, no pumps or filters, to keep water flowing. And there's no pretreatment of water required, so you can use it in different types of water quality. It's already on the ground here in Arizona. Currently 100 acres of alfalfa in the Colorado River Indian tribes on the Colorado River, as well as quite a bit of the alfalfa and cotton fields on the Perry Farms in Tonopah. It showed some promise in, in a variety of different crops. And, um, you know, we're looking really to expand that, that that use and, and explore partnerships with other entities throughout the, the Arizona, Central Arizona area. Now, Arrestus Morphine says that he sees the new irrigation system as a way to conserve water. We know we need it here in the dry desert while continuing to support agriculture across Arizona. So farmers can irrigate and produce the same number of crops with less water. The company tells us in some cases a 50 percent reduction in water use and 50 to 30 percent in increased yield.